Hi guys and welcome to a new game called Calico. So I skipped the character creation screen because it wasn't anything really special. Um, you'll be able to see our character over here in a second. This is kind of like my third time testing the intro to this game and having some technical difficulties. I guess you could say the game is kind of interesting and unique, I think. Um, yeah, it's interesting, interesting to see like what the game's all about. The premise seems good. It seems like we're going to be starting a cat cafe. Oh my gosh! Ah, hello! Kiba. Welcome to Heart Village. I'm Kiba, the mayor of this little village. We were so excited to have you here. We were also sad to have your aunt retire and the cafe shut down. Honestly, the village just hasn't been the same without her. Though she did send me a postcard last week, and it looks like she's really enjoying traveling. Apparently there are cats on other islands. Isn't that amazing? Oh, whoops, of course you know all about that, having come from another island. Anywho, all that matters is that you are here now. First things first, why don't you look inside our new cafe? It's a little boring and empty right now, but that's up to you to fix. Why don't you go inside and check the place out? Come back and talk to me when you're done. Okay, cool. Well, I see from her outfit that our clothing options should get a lot more interesting later. Oh, jeez, wait. Even more first, I need to give you your welcome gift. Here's a couple of things that will help you settle in. Oh. I wonder what she gave us. We just jumped up in the air. Uh, did she give us anything? With some furniture to help out, but embarrassingly didn't know which kind of like this. I'm bringing a whole bunch. What would you say your style is? What is our style? I think we'll go with cute. Okay, perfect. I have these items of that type and place them in the cafe when you get done. Okay, cool. Maybe that is what she was saying she brought for us. Okay. Uh -huh. So now. Okay, that's the menu screen. Okay. Cute furniture sets. So, it's a cafe. Where should we do seating? Alright, so that's our furniture placed for now. The controls are like a little bit too free almost. I kind of like a grid would have been nicer. It's kind of difficult to like get your spacing and everything. But we've got everything down. So, okay, we are back. So let's see. Yeah, so it seems to work alright. Okay, and come over here to the kitchen. Interesting, floating cookbook. Okay. And then, this is also a staircase. Uh huh, so I guess this is where we live, up here. Cool. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's go chat to the mayor again. Hmm, okay, what's next? Animals. Your aunt always had a bunch of cute, cuddly animals in the cafe. Honestly, it's the best part of the whole thing. Why don't you look around and adopt an animal for the cafe? They're all over the island. And as long as they don't belong to anyone else, they're available for the cafe and your new fuzzy family. Ooh, well, I see one little calico right over here. Hello, friend. Okay, I mean, well, inside the building. So how do I... I can store you. I can mount you. Mm, I don't like any of that. Can I just, can I just take you like this? Hello. I mean, he looks pretty chill considering he's just being dragged around. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay, so you store them by putting them on your head. Use toy. I mean, is he following me or is he leaving? Okay, yeah, I can definitely see this game was built into Unity. <laughs> was built in Unity. It's a lot of uh, kind of just like physics and sending things on its way. Um. Is 
this is not very user friendly. Find an animal friend, then use the animal command to make them funny. I mean, this is the animal's menu. supposed to do incorrect. Okay, let's talk to the mayor again. What was the last thing? I can't seem to recall. Oh, food, duh. Okay, so the other thing you need to learn is making food for the cafe. We can't have a cafe without food and drinks. Your aunt just left a couple of recipes, but it's not many. I'm sure if you talk to the other villagers, they may be able to share some family recipes with you in exchange for your help. But for now, why don't you head into the kitchen and try out one of those recipes? Alright. Something else to note, the island is very much based on old magic, the way we do things is a bit different here. I think you'll really enjoy cooking though, it's pretty fun to throw an egg the size of your whole body. Sorry, what? You'll see, go try it out. Okay. An egg the size of our whole body. Kitty, are you still here? I mean, told him to stay in the cafe. Okay. Ooh, macaroon! Oh, wow, you're tiny. This is actually kind of cool. Okay, so where are we mixing this? Okay, so if I pick up the flour, is this it? I mean, oh shoot. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Put the ingredients in the bowl. I mean, she just says something about throwing, so literally. Okay. I mean, that worked. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, an egg. Let's not. Okay. Great. Put the finished food in a tray. Okay, over here. But where do I get it from? Because it definitely disappeared out of here. Nope, nope, it's in there. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. Um, damn. No way. Okay. Well, it looks like the okay, kid looks like that was finishing it though, because it's here. Okay. So the controls are definitely sticky, shall we say? They're not very, uh,. The game isn't explained too well. Oh, I'm so proud of you. You're a natural. I guess all that's left is meeting some of your neighbors. You should go around and meet them. Unfortunately, we've had some problems traveling to and from the other areas of the island, which sucks. I haven't been able to get to the hot springs in months. Maybe one of the villagers has an idea of how to fix some of the blockages. Anyway, I hope you get the cafe up and running. If you ever want to chat with me about it, I live down the road right here, past the town center. See you, friendo. Cool. Okay. Well, I guess... Which way is town? What are the odds that we have? Okay, we do have a map. Okay. So we're the red dot. We've got a potion shop to the right. There's the city center. Okay. Maybe we start off with Autumn and go to Autumn's Potion Shop because I, I do see a question mark above her head. Oh, hi 
Hi, birdie. Well, this is a new kind of animal. Not sure if uh, birds are going to want to come and live with us. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're going the right way to the potion shop. We're currently climbing uphill. Okay. Nice spiral. Kind of reminds me of uh, going to the church in my time at Porsche. It's also quite a quite a trek uphill. I wonder if we can run or move any faster than this, or if maybe at some point we um, get some sort of a mount that we can ride. Oh wow, her shop actually is like a what, like the the bottled thing, like a, not not a beaker, I guess, but a, like a potion bottle. Mm. Oh wow, you are full on cat. Autumn, greetings traveller and welcome to my palatial emporium of potent pot- Potent? Potable, portable, pourable potions. I'm Portum. Autumn, I'm Autumn. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I don't have any potions available right now. My cat Char is missing, I have no idea where she is. And the worry has gotten me totally behind on making potions. Hmm. She really get the past the mountains opened up. Okay. She also keep an eye out for her kitty cat, I guess. It'd be nice if we can help her find him. Um I'm assuming a game like this, there is no fall damage. So I am kind of wanting to get down here quickly. So Yait. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly, no fall damage, okay. Cool. Well, I got us down quickly. Oh, that's an edge there that we can't go over. Oh my... Hi. Hello, sir. Is this expected? Whoa. Excuse me, sir, do you need, can I help you? <laughs> okay. Strange. I wonder if the blockages are giant cats. Okay. Ah, I see you jumped off the wrong side, so we're all the way down here in this corner. Okay. Well. Let us run on around and then run on into town. Alright, well we finally found our way back onto the path. I see over here there is Maya's treehouse. Just as a question mark. I think I see her up ahead. We should stop over there. See see what's going on with her. Cute house though. Really like that tree house. Very sweet. Okay. Hello there, my name's Maya, Vice President of the Owl Club, at your service. Oh, but I'm sorry, I'm the Vice President of nothing right now. There was a landslide that blocked the path into the mountains. If we can't go into the mountains, that means... That means... <laughs> means we can't go to the Owl Club headquarters. And if we can't go to the Owl Club headquarters, that means you can't meet Freya. She's the President of the Owl Club and President of my heart. I'm in a real pickle of beans right now, is what I'm saying. Hmm... I don't know if Kiva mentioned this to you, but there is a landslide at the entrance of the Snowbell Mountains. It's such a bummer. Can I help? Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. I have no idea how you can help, but if you can find a way through, I promise you can be a prestigious member of our art club. I've asked everyone in town to help, but no one could, except for Autumn. I haven't asked her yet. She lives in the bottle on top of the hill next cafe. It's really high up and I'm scared of heights. I know this seems weird for an owl-based magical girl, but I can't actually fly. Interesting. Okay, so... Maya wants us to open up the blockage, but Autumn can't really help until we help find her cat. I'm curious to know if her cat is the, uh, the huge one that's stuck. We also seem to be very small people. Hmm. Oh, 
Clarabelle. Oh my gosh, are you the new cat cafe owner? I've been so excited to meet you. This is the best day ever. My name is Maribel and I own the fashion store in town. You should come by and see my clothes. You would look amazing in them. You already look amazing. I love your outfit. But you can always have more. Mmm. Spice my outfits a bit. Estelle. Oh my, what do we have here? A new customer, or should I say a new neighbor? You're the one that took over the old cat cafe, aren't you? I always admire the industrious spirit. I'm sure we'll get along famously. Please have a look around my store. You'll need to furnish that cafe if you want customers. Interesting. Oh, now our quest is asking us to go find Autumn, so we have to climb up there again. First, let's, uh, can we go up these stairs? Strange. Okay, I guess we just, okay, I see. So. Okay, cool. So we can just buy stuff from the till. I see that little icon with the calico paw pointing downwards. That's one. That's what kind of like instructs us on um, where to go and what to do. Okay, fox ears, hoodie, boots, beret, thigh high socks. Cool, cute, interesting. Should probably save our moolah for now because we don't know what we're gonna need next. Let's see. So it does kind of look like there's a quest in Estelle's general store, or is it maybe just behind? Out of a meow 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 meow. What's for sale? Ah, I see he sells stuff. Leopard bear plush. Interesting. Citrus chair. Ooh, recipes. What is this odd thing? <laughs> Zumbo plush. Cool. Ooh, those donuts look fun to make. Can I climb in here? No, I can't. Okay. Mm, yeah, autumn is what's next. Ah, so the question marks could also be people that we're yet to meet. That seems to be it. Hey, always cool to see a fresh face around here. I'm Ash. I work at the general store. I guess I'm Estelle's assistant. I don't always get her, but I've learned more magic from her than I ever did in magic school, so this job isn't the worst. Cool. So, yeah, now her question mark has disappeared. So, one, two, three. So I guess we can still meet Blossom, Sunny, and Poppy. All right, but well, let's go meet them before heading back up to um, Autumn's tall, tall tower. Uh huh. Here are some people. Let us see. Lily, you there? You look like a person that appreciates a good flower, and we appreciate people that appreciate good flowers because good flowers is what we've got. Uh, I don't get to practice my sales pitch to new people very often, but you get the idea. I'm Lily. I help my pops run the flower store. Cool. Ah, this is Poppy. Well, now look who it is. It's been so long since I've seen you. Why, you've grown up from a sprout into a sunflower. We've never met before, have we? Oh, thank goodness. I thought I had just forgotten. The name is Poppy. I run the flower shop along with my daughter Lily. You can never have too many flowers. Oh, okay. Oh, kitty. Hi, kitty. Hi. Are you looking to make a friend? What about the toy? Tumbles straight into the bush. Hi, kitty. Um, animals menu. Okay, did we meet him? Is he in here somewhere? Okay, I don't see him yet. Can I pick you up? Chumpy. <laughs> They're so bouncy. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Chumpy. Um, to the cafe! Okay, yes, you can also just chill my head, that's cool too. Hey, who is this? Is this the mayor? Yeah, that's the mayor. Okay. So, there's someone up here, I believe. Yes, here we go. Cool hairdo. 
Hi, I'm Sunny. Blossom and I are so excited about the Cafe Cafe reopening. It's where we first met. I thought about running the cafe myself, but that would have spoiled the magic for me. Besides, I'd rather run the Boardwalk Arcade. You think if I get the high score on every machine, I legally own the place? Possible. Oh, we got another calico. He looks like a chonker. Oh, hi. Look at such a cute nose. Oh, he he is a chonky boy. Or is he fluffy? I can't tell. Okay, he's just morbidly fluffy. We'll, we'll say that. Okay. So now, hi. We've made friends with you, Pudgems. We'll just pop you into the cafe too. Maybe, uh, yeah, we'll just put you down. You go find your way to the cafe. Okay, boy? Good boy. Um, hmm. So we made one of the, yeah, Blossom, I think, is this one? Got him. Yes. Oh, um, hello, you must be the new cafe owner. Keeper offered to let me take care of the cafe, but it turns out cats are very different from flowers. They both require a lot of love, but cats don't like getting watered. Oh, my name is Blossom, by the way. It's nice to meet you. If you ever want to plant your roots and soak up some sun, you can visit the garden Sunny and I share on the hill. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So, if we zoom on out, looks like we've met everyone. So I guess next stop is going to be um, heading on over to Autumn again, which is quite a run. Can I put you down? Yes. <laughs> Stop carrying around giving him motion sickness. Alright guys, I'll see you when we get up to Autumn's place. Alright, we're finally here. However, it is getting a little late. Oh, seems that we cancelled talk to her. Greetings, traveller. Lost cat. Wow, that would be incredible. I have a feeling she might be near the center of town. Last time she went missing, I find, found her in a pile of clothing at the clothes store. She wasn't there when I checked earlier, but it's probably a good start. Okay. I already got the path. The mountains opened up. Okay, so she is kind of selling stuff. So, a magic hair potion. Turn hair into a colorful cosmic void. That sounds fun. Change time to night. Become an ice cream sundae. Stop or start the clock. Interesting. Rainy day. Change animal to sparkling night version of itself. Oh. Okay. Set loose to fly around curious animals. Okay, change time to morning. Dye your hair and make your eyes glow. Turns a bird into a griffin, or at least that was the plan. It's not quite perfect, it only works on birds. Interesting. I kind of, I wonder if this is permanent, because I like the, the cosmic void idea. Okay. So, hello, birdie friend. It's getting late, so I guess tomorrow will have to be a day. We'll pick up this crow. Hold to wiggle animal. Don't know why we want to do that. Ah, now I see the animal command menu. Okay. Curious. Go to the cafe. <laughs> oh, that worked. Okay. Before I jump down, I should probably check that facing the right direction. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Big fluffy cat still stuck there. Most detailed thing in the game is the hair is on that cat. Hmm. I wonder what his story is though. Alright guys, it is getting late, so we are now back home. Oh. All of our friends are here. Um, I guess? It's time to save and sleep. Oh, is that a capybara? New day. Alright, okay guys, I think I'm going to be leaving this part off over here. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.